CARES Act, the Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security. Let us go through some of the provisions of this act. So this has both individual and business provisions. In a separate video, we are discussing on the individual provisions. And on this one, let's focus more on the business provisions. So the business provisions include uh, employee retention tax credit, payroll tax deferment for employers, paycheck protection program, economic injury disaster loan. And there are a few other provisions which may not be applicable for um, some of the smaller employers, but we would um, try to go through them as well. Employee retention uh, tax credit. So you could get up to 50% of the wages you pay between March 13th and December 31st of 2020 as a credit for your business. So the important point here is that your gross income for a respective quarter for the same quarter um, should have dropped by 50% in the current year. So if in the last quarter, let's say, let's talk about second quarter of uh, 2020, your gross income uh, from the, which is, which is basically the sales, if it had uh, let's say if it was $50,000 and in 2019 if it was $100,000 now yes it did fall to the 50% level from the last year and therefore you would be eligible for this credit. So the credit essentially is that you're retaining the employees and therefore you would be able to deduct 50% of whatever wages you pay between March 13th and December 31st. And these credits are adjusted through the through the payments, the payroll taxes you pay to the IRS. And that's how you would be able to get the credit of 50%. We do not have more information as to what forms to use, how to claim it, but it would be um, it would be done through the quarterly filings and you know use uh, IRS would soon come up with a form which is more specific to uh, getting this credit through the payroll filings. Deferment of um, employer payroll taxes. Now besides the credit, um, or whether you take the credit or not, you could go ahead and uh, defer the payment of payroll taxes, the 6.2% of the social security taxes, and you can defer it uh, all the way and be paid um, you defer it for the entire 2020 tax year and then you pay them uh, equally which is 50% in the 2021 year and the 2022. Now I would not recommend doing this because once you fall behind on the you know payroll taxes um, it's it's probably hard to keep up and you also have to you know do all the math and try to uh, work on those schedules on how how you want to you know repay them but however if you're in a crash crunch you need to you know make use of this yes this provision would definitely help you paycheck protection program ppp this is uh, an highly spoken about uh, provision for the businesses and this is applicable for businesses who have 500 employees or less which is you know many of the small businesses would be eligible for this and this would be a loan given out um, to the small business uh, to the extent of let's say up to 10 million dollars or two and a half times of your average monthly payroll costs so let's say your um, your payroll for the you know 2019 tax year was um, let's say a million dollars now you would be able to get you know, uh, let, let's say for um, uh, easy calculation, let's say it was $1,200,000, which is $100,000 per month, then you would be eligible for a loan of uh, $250,000 as the paycheck protection in the paycheck protection program. Now, there is a confusion about this is an um, automatic um, forgiven loan. Uh, you need to apply for the forgiveness. And in order for the loan to be forgiven, this should be used for um, payroll costs, rent, utilities, and 
um, interest paid on mortgages during this eight weeks after the loan is made to you so you go ahead and apply for the loan and uh, this uh, loan uh, would be um, would be applied through a lender so if you're working with a bank like Chase Bank of America they are the lenders who work at the back end uh, with SBA in order to provide this uh, paycheck protection uh, program now it's not an automatic forgiveness you need to apply for the forgiveness and they would look into each business situation during the during the you know close down or during the you know um, uh, coronavirus period how it had impacted the business but we do not have a lot of information on how the forgiveness would really work but at this point in time yes this is this probably is a cash flow boost um, in order to you know keep the employees in the business and continue your business the interest rates are you know at around uh, four percent and there's no collateral required and it could go up to 10 years so that's the nice thing about this loan and for the first six to 12 months you do not pay the interest or the principal um, but again you know uh, as you go through the loan you would understand uh, more of how much you're eligible for um, and but yeah, most likely most of uh, most of the small businesses would be looking at the two and a half times of the monthly payroll costs now you are not supposed to use both the loan as well the as well as the employee retention tax credit which we um, spoke about in the previous slide economic injury disaster loan EIDL so this is again backed by the SBA so these these loans are uh, applied directly through um, you know through SBA or you could work with your uh, bank you know most of the banks are uh, partnered with SBA um, you know and SBA has several loan programs even before the coronavirus they had several before uh, several loans now they have relaxed those loans they've extended um, you know the amount which which uh, uh, what 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 you can borrow as well as you know some of the guarantee requirements have been waived off so in this instance you could see if you're getting a loan up to up to two hundred thousand dollars you don't have to personally guarantee it and this emergency loan can go up to two million dollars okay and uh, what what we hear is you could get up to a 10k within three days as emergency grant uh, which may not be repayable uh, but of course you know this again uh, you know we have heard that from people who have applied they have never got uh, that at 10k so far uh, from what they've applied now you would not be able to use uh, the grant as well as the loan forgiveness on the you know paycheck uh, program so these uh, needs to be looked at as well some of the other provisions uh, which may not be applicable for small uh, smaller businesses it's it's mostly for you know large corporations you could go ahead uh, with the net operating loss you could carry it back five years so that is one of the provision um, you know there was a, there was a ceiling on how much loss you could um, take on a on an on a individual's return from their S corporation and again this the, the, the limitations are pretty high it's like 500k um, which may not be applicable for many small businesses um, so this is another provision basically that particular provision of limiting uh, what losses they can take on their uh, personal tax return has been uh, repealed for now for the 18 to 2018 to 2020 tax years the other provisions are qualified tenant improvement bonus depreciation so what you would have taken as a 15-year depreciation for some of the non-residential buildings can now be um, you know uh, now be depreciated immediately but again uh, that cannot include elevators escalators um, and things like that so it's very specific uh, provision uh, you you know from a broader um, you know uh, perspective you don't have to know this you'll work with your accountant they will be helping you with uh, if you're eligible for this um, AMT credit refunds this again for uh, C corporations if they had any uh, AMT tax credits which they were supposed to receive uh, over multiple years 
now that is speeded up they would uh, be getting that um, you know sooner uh, but again uh, you know not all small businesses are eligible for this here's a quick disclaimer uh, for you know the presentation uh, what we spoke about today Thank you. And if you have any questions on what we spoke today, do email us uh, support at nexusmanagementgroup.com and we will try to answer your questions. Uh, thank you.